Okay, so this is the full video. We will take every idea step by step. But before we start, let's go through the main keywords and clarify the major concept. The main keywords that we will be using are the LDL goals of dyslipidemia management in the primary and secondary prevention settings, the degree of cardiovascular disease, whether it is low, moderate, or high risk, tools or criteria used to estimate this risk, risk factors of cardiovascular disease and their treatment goals, goal LDL in the first step, which is the initiation step, goal LDL if treatment intensification is needed, which is step two. The main concept here is the stepwise achievement of LDL treatment goals according to each setting. Now we will speak about each setting. Starting with the primary prevention, primary prevention means persons without atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. These persons are either healthy or non-healthy individuals, meaning that they suffer diseases other than cardiovascular diseases. Yet, these diseases put the patient at a certain cardiovascular risk. Secondary prevention setting means patients with established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. These patients are already at a very high risk of cardiovascular disease recurrence and therefore risk factor treatment is aimed to achieve very low LDL goals in both step 1 and step 2. Unlike secondary prevention patients who are at very high risk of cardiovascular disease recurrence, patients in the primary prevention settings are at various levels of cardiovascular disease risk and therefore risk estimation tools or criteria are needed to classify the patient's level of cardiovascular risk in order to determine the treatment goals. These tools or criteria are used in both step one and step two of risk factor treatment. And the LDL goals are reached by either moderate intensity statins or high intensity statins plus or minus combination therapy according to the baseline LDL levels.